Salah of the two Eids or festivals. The people in the days of ignorance used to have two days every year in which they would celebrate. So when the Prophet, peace be upon him, arrived at Medina, he said, You used to have two days in which you celebrated, but Allah has substituted these with that which is better, the days of the lesser and greater Eid. It is not permissible to celebrate or participate in the festivals of the unbelievers since the festival is the most obvious sign of any religion and the most obvious of its laws and ways of belief. Allah the Most High says, To each among you we have prescribed a law and a clear way. Eid in Islam involves worship and a clear sign of happiness and pleasure during which the people eat good food and partake in permissible celebrations. Allah prescribed a prayer in the two Eids called Salat al Eid, or the Salah observed during the two Eid festival, which is one of the most important manifestations of Islam. This prayer is considered Fard Kifaya, or a collective obligation. When enough people observe it, those not observing it are relieved of the sin of not performing it. Even though the order given to attend the Salah is very emphatic, the Prophet made the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, ordered that it be observed, and indeed ordered that women, young or old, attend such that menstruating women, even though they will not observe Salah, are mandated to attend. All these are as a result of the virtues of the prayer and due to the emphasis placed on it, Allah, exalted be He, said, Therefore, turn in salah to your Lord and sacrifice, meaning to Him alone. And the Prophet made the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, ordered that it be observed by men and women alike. Um Atiyah, may Allah be pleased with her, said, The Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, ordered us to bring the following to Fitr and Adha, meaning the lesser and greater Eids, the Awatiq, meaning the adolescent females, the Huyyad, meaning the menstruating females, and possessors of al khudu meaning the virgin teenagers. As for the menstruating females, they are to stay away from the Salah, but they should witness the blessings and prayers of the Muslims. The two festive Salahs consist of two raka'ats with neither the Adhan nor Iqama, and with loud recitation in both. After the initiating Takbir and the invocation for starting Salah, and before saying the Ta'awudh or seeking refuge and the recitation, the Imam says seven Takbirs. Next, he says the Ta'awudh and then the Basmalah, which is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thereafter, he proceeds with the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha and a chapter thereafter. It is Sunnah to read Al-A'la in the first Raka'ah after Al-Fatiha and Al-Ghashiyah in the second or Qaf in the first and Al-Qamar in the second. After the rising Takbir, meaning from the first Raka'ah, he says five takbirs. He raises his hands for each takbir. In between the takbirs, he praises and glorifies Allah and seeks blessings on the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. After saying Taslim, he mounts the pulpit and delivers two sermons, separating between each sermon by sitting for a short time. It is recommended for the preacher during Eid al Fitr to remind the people of the rulings of the occasion of Eid al Fitr and during Eid al-Adha to remind them of the rulings of sacrificial animals and what suits that particular occasion. As the Prophet made the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and his companions used to do so. The Sunnah is to observe the two Eid Salahs on a plain praying ground and not in the mosque. There is no harm however if it is observed inside a mosque if the need arises. It is also preferred for a man to beautify himself by wearing his best clothes. Concerning females, they are to go to the place of Salah without any adornment or finery, 
and they should not wear perfume. The congregation should arrive early and occupy the first rows, and if they go to the praying ground through one path, they should return through another, on foot, if possible. As it has been reported on the authority of Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, used to take different paths during the day of the festival. Another sunnah is to eat an odd number of dates, meaning three or five dates, for example, before going to the prayer on the lesser Eid. And it is preferred to delay the Salah of Eid al-Fitr in order to allow for the distribution of Zakat al-Fitr by the worshippers to whom it is due. As for the Salah of Eid al-Adha, it should however be hastened, but it is improper to perform the voluntary prayer before or after Salat al-Eid, unless it is performed as Salat Tahiyyatul Masjid, meaning the Salah for saluting the mosque, when entering the mosque. It is recommended for those who miss Salat al-Eid, or a part of it, to make it up by offering it in its manner, by praying two raka'ats with the takbir, or by completing that one missed of the prayer, if the person did not manage to catch all of it with the Imam, so that he completes two raka'ats both in the manner the Salat al-Eid should be performed. One should say the takbir throughout these days by saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. The meaning of which is, Allah is greater, meaning than all things. Allah is greater. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Allah is greater, Allah is greater, and all praises are for Allah. It is sunnah for men to raise their voices in takbir, but females should say takbir in a low voice as they are commanded to lower their voices. Takbir during Eid al-Fitr starts from the dawn of Eid day and continues until the Imam starts the prayer of Eid. As for Eid al-Adha, takbir starts from the morning of the day of Arafah and continues until sunset of the last day of Ayyam al-Tashriq, meaning the 13th day. So one should say takbir on one's way to the mosque and while sitting there until the Imam comes. And also after the compulsory prayers which were performed in congregation or in the market or in the home, etc. It is recommended for the Muslims to greet one another during the Eid celebration by saying Taqabbal Allahu minna wa minkum the meaning of which is May Allah accept from you and me our good deeds. It is also recommended to express the happiness of Eid during the celebrations, contact relatives, and to settle any disputes among quarreling people. It is prescribed to spend generously on one's family with regards to clothing, food, and entertainment from that which Allah has permitted. For indeed, the two Eids are days of happiness, rejoicing, and gladness. As Allah the Exalted says, Say, O Muhammad, by the bounties and mercy of Allah, and by that they should rejoice. That is better than all that which they gather. It is illegal to visit graves on Eid day. Indeed, doing that negates what the Eid connotes, gladness and happiness. Concerning festivals, the scholars have noted that it is not allowed for the Muslims to send greetings to the unbelievers during their festivals, as this means one accepts their disbelief and their way of life just as it is not allowed for the Muslims to go to places where they celebrate their festivals or to join them in their celebrations.